This episode is brought to you by Timber Beast. Bow ties for the wild and unruly. Get fly at thetimberbeast.com. Hi, I'm Coach Colin Castello with shotmechanics.com. And Blake, today let's fix your brick. So we all know Blake Griffin from those high flying dunks, but he does struggle from the free throw line. But the good news is it's a pretty easy fix. So today we're gonna to talk a little bit about Blake Griffin's shooting mechanics and how maybe just a few tweaks here and there might really, really up his percentage in the next year. The purpose of this video is really twofold. Number one, I wanna go over some common mistakes that might help you with your own free throws. And two, let's help make Blake more than just a dunker and help him score outside of the paint. So let's get started with breaking down a set of free throws. Never an NBA champion. Oh, is it? Is it? And I loved him. I loved Tracy when he was younger. And oh, gee, well. Blake just shot two, two, two free throws a foot short, both of them. I've only seen that happen once before. So the first thing I want to talk about is how high above his head Blake puts the ball before he shoots a free throw. Check out this clip of Blake warming up before a game. Notice how the ball is directly above his head, causing the ball's trajectory to be much flatter than it would otherwise. It almost causes the ball to turn into more of a throw than a shot allowing for very little touch. Most of the great shooters in the game keep the ball in front of their face for better touch and better arc on their ball. When shooters keep the ball in front of their face, it's more of a shot rather than a throw at the hoop, giving you that optimal arc. Shooting with the ball in front of your face also makes it a quicker jumper because it doesn't have to go backwards before it goes forwards. You'll notice that most everybody with a really quick jump shot keeps the ball in front of their face. All right, let's check out Blake's second free throw. Notice how his legs lock before the ball is releasing from his hand. This kills the body's natural momentum and causes him to miss short. Now check out one of the all-time greats, Steve Nash. Notice that the ball is starting to leave his fingertips as he's fully extended. Also, check out how he gets up on his toes on a shot so his momentum continues through his body. This helps your momentum stay smooth so you have a fluid release without a hitch. So, what did we learn from Blake's bricks? Number one, if you shoot with the ball too far above your head, it's gonna result in a very flat shot. And two, if you lock your knees before you shoot, it's gonna result in you missing short most of the time. So what can you do to help Blake Griffin? Hit him up on Twitter and let him know that we fix his brick. Also, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section down below and we'll try to get back to you as quick as we possibly can. Also, feel free to show us a little love with either a subscription or telling a friend about our videos. You can also support us by buying a custom sneaker art that helps support our channel and our website. You choose the design and the colors and we'll send it straight to you for your own custom piece of artwork. And don't forget to check out our other videos on our website, shopmechanics.com. Again, I'm Coach Colin Castella and thanks for watching Fix Your Brick. Also, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comics sec. <laughs>